they messed up once by releasing them. Now they're doing it again, they're messing up again. They just don't know how to angle them. They just don't want them in their care. So what they're doing is throwing them back into the public. And I think it's wrong, you know. I'm more fearing now that someone is going to mistake someone else's venables and do someone who's innocent harm. That's my biggest fear now. My um, other fear is because he's so well protected and cared for on the inside and got given everything he asked for, he's now going to be looking over his shoulders on the outside. He's not going to be able to angle life. His name's going to be changed again. So he's got to adjust to his new name. He's got to adjust to new surroundings. You know, he is going to constantly be looking over his shoulders and he's not going to like that life. So what is he going to do to go back into prison to get even longer? Because if he goes back into, well, he, I know for a fact he will go back into prison. And once he gets back there, he's going to protect us once again with everything. He's going to be given everything again. Do you feel let down by the government, by the authorities? I totally do feel let down, but more importantly, I feel like I've let James down because, you know, all the fight that I've done over the past 20 years, and as I just said to you, I thought I was finally getting somewhere and for them just to push me off that cliff. You know, it's just, I can't believe how I'm getting treated and I, I don't know why they're treating me like this. Do you trust that the authorities can monitor him properly? No, definitely not. They couldn't they monitor him the first time. What makes them so sure they're going to monitor him now? They haven't got a clue. I think they're not doing the jobs properly. They've got jobs there to do and they're not doing them. You know, they, they let him slip through with the fingers the first time now, so no doubt it's, it's going to happen again. He got away with so much. He was entering Merseyside, he was going to Everton games. He was drinking in Liverpool. They, they were all breaches of his pro, and not once was he lifted. Not once. So he's going to do it again because he got away with so much the first time. He's going to think he's untouchable again, and he's going to go and do even worse. I wouldn't trust him as far as I could throw him. What makes you most angry about this situation? <sighs> There's a lot that makes me angry. It's the way I'm getting treated. It's the way I get told. It's the way, you know, everything gets thrown back at me. Everything I ask for, I don't get. Everything he asks for, he gets. Um, it's it's angered me that he's released again. You know, he's always been rewarded. So many things. I, I can feel my blood boiling right now because I just think, once again, I've been walked all over. As I said, I was put on a mountain a few weeks ago when they said they were going to listen to me. I feel they haven't listened to me at all. They've just said that to get me out that room. As soon as my back was turned, they put two fingers up to me and they've carried on with their lives. It's okay for them. They can go home. They can get on with their lives. It's me that's got to live with this each and every single day. Can you ever see a day I feel for you. Mm, I feel like, do you never come face to face with them? I think, oh. Can, can you ever see a day in the future where you think, yes, he could be released? Well, he's released. But where you agree? Do you know what? In the beginning, I never said, lock him up and throw away the key. I've never said that. All I wanted was for them to do some time for that crime that they committed. They took my baby's life. They took a child's life. You know, James never got the chance to start his first day at school because of them too. If they are saved, minimum 15 years is what I asked for, you know, I wasn't happy with that, but I would have learned to live with it. But if they'd have done 15 years in an adult prison, they'd have been walking out anyway. No one would have been saying, uh, no one would have been in an uproar. As I said, at least they'd done some time, and I'd have been getting on with my life. But you know what? I've been forced to fight and fight. And I am thrown in the government side, and I don't care. But you know what? The more they back back at me, the stronger I'm getting, and I will come back. Just to go back to that one last question, if you were to meet David Cameron, what would you... What would you say to him if you looked into his eyes? I'd say our law needs changing. We need stricter and stronger sentences. And I'd, I'd, I, I do want to meet him because I do want to bring this in. I do seriously think that we need stricter laws, stricter sentences, longer sentences, because you, they can't keep getting away with murder. They can't keep getting away with child porn. You know, it's just so wrong. Even then, it's not life. So They're still doing twenty years. What would you like to change, or are you really saying it's too late for you? It's too late for me. But if I can change the law and help someone else, then of course I'll be there. Um, I want tougher sentences for the start, because the sentence that they are getting given now, you get more for robbing a bank. You know, you you can't rob money, but you can take a child's life or you can take a person's life. It's just absolutely pathetic. It's about time these laws were changed. It's stupid the way we're living. And. I suppose, just to finish, would you sum up um, how you feel the balance is 
between you and him, you you said it to me really. You feel like the criminal here. So I do feel like the I feel like it was me that's done wrong. That's the way I'm treated by the government. I feel like you know it was my fault that James was taken, and you know it was it was an accident that you know he kills him. It was it was no accident. It was a premeditated murder. And I, do you know what the way they've made me feel? You know, I physically feel sick. This morning I got up, I felt so ill. I just, I thought, you know what, I've got to get through today. And if I can get through today, well, I've got to pass the, the past 20 years. But as I say, this this is a, a blow to me. As I thought I was getting some and it's just absolutely threw me right back.